the flight into Egypt. Peter chapter 2, I am a living stone rejected by human beings. I live with my parents on the right bank in an upmarket suburb of Bassano Veneto. My parents are respectable, upper middle, middle class. Myself, as per usual, I am bored out of my mind in my bedroom in our comfortable hygienic villa fronting the river when suddenly gazing out the window I I glimpse a family of travellers on the far bank on the stony hill under the high wood. They're a notorious family of tramps, refugees, illegal immigrants, and wanted. Making a beeline for Ashtabula, Ohio, I'd hazard. Clandestinely, I have the highest admiration for them. I can see the father, old Joe, out front of his wife. He's gripping a strong staff, and he's tethered himself by rope to a cute prize-winning ass on which... His young wife is riding side saddle with a newborn infant in her lap. Good God, she must be half her husband's age. How fortunate he is, old Joe, to have such a sensationally alluring young Matryoshka for his wife. No wonder he is striding out so purposefully. He's a king who does not know he is a king. But she is a queen, and she does, in her frisbee halo. She is the epitome of prettiness, of dignity, of wholesomeness. Her red hair tied up in a braid across her head. But an itsy bit, more than an itsy bit, perplexed, possibly petrified. I wonder why. I suspect it must be their constant predicament of being always on the run, always being wanted, hunted creatures, and her infant male toddler boykins clinging to her, and yet she's so surprisingly confident in her casual hold of him. They have at least three young male shepherds with them, members, I guess, of the extended family. All these illegal immigrants have extended families. But no, it is they who on this earth are the respectable people, the stars, the superstars, the big salt. Comfortable, righteous people like me and my parents are bit players, literally time servers. We are so uncool that we cannot see it. Whereas Joe, his girl, their baby boy and retinue are the future of cool.